blessed, glorious, beautiful, powerful, and powerful. thank you because you are God, you are our strength, you are our redeemer, you are our savior, you are our defender, and you are the man of war, everlasting father. Accept our thanks now and forevermore in the name of Jesus. We are grateful, O God, for the salvation of our souls. We are grateful for your victory. We are grateful, O God, for giving us grace to be under your shadow. We are grateful, O God, for not allowing the wickedness of this world to swallow us up. We are grateful, O God, for destroying the wickedness of this world that have or that assignment to frustrate our lives. We are grateful, O God, for delivering us from the grave and the strongholds of the wicked. We are grateful, O oh Lord God, for making ways for us where there seems to be no way. We are grateful, O oh God, for filling us day by day with your words. We are grateful, O oh Lord God, for being our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, and our Defender. Father, in all situations, accept our thanks now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Everlasting Father, merciful God, we know we have sinned against thee. I think we pray for mercy, O Lord. Have mercy upon us. Forgive us, wash away all our sins, and create in us the spirit of sin no more. Lay your mighty hand upon upon us and restore us back, O Lord, to your divine original in the name of Jesus. I want you to lift up your voice and pray. I don't know what the devil and all his angels have. I don't know what they have taken away from you. I don't know what they have made you to lose in life. But all I know tonight is as you pray, the Lord God Almighty will restore us back. The Lord God Almighty that brought out the lost axe head from the waters, that God will restore us back. He said, I will repay you back for the years the locusts have eaten, the locusts and the caterpillars and the cancer worms. I want you to pray. Say, Oh Lord God, my Father, I am in your presence, O God. Father, repair my life, repair my home, repair my destiny, repair this church in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, our Father, we are in your presence this hour. Repair us, O oh Lord. Repair us, O oh Lord. Repair our lives, we pray thee. Repair our families. Repair our foundations. Repair us, O oh Lord. We pray thee in the name of Jesus. Repair our lives. Repair our lives. Repair our lives. Repair the lives of our children, of our husbands, of our wives, of every soldier to Tonight. Oh Lord, repair our lives. Repair our lives in Jesus' name. We are praising, oh God of divine revival. Revive our lives again, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God of divine revival. Revive us again, revive us again, revive us again, revive our glories, revive our jobs, revive our ministries, revive our families, revive us, O oh Lord, revive us, O oh Lord, revive our children, revive their jobs, revive their careers, revive their marriages, revive their homes, revive our children, O oh Lord, revive our future, revive our lives, revive us, O oh Lord, revive us, O oh Lord, revive us, O oh Lord. Oh Lord. In Jesus' name we have received, O oh God of divine order. Divinely rearrange my life for common promotion. Oh God of divine order, divinely rearrange our lives for common promotions. Divinely rearrange our homes. Divinely rearrange the lives of our children, of our husbands, of our wives, of every soldier tonight. Divinely rearrange our lives, oh God, for common promotion, for common increase, for common success, for common promotion, for common increase, for common success, for common promotion, for common increase, for common success. In Jesus' name, we are praise. Powers using demonic forces to trouble my life, wicked powers using evil forces, powers, and evil materials to torture and to trouble our lives. Hear the voice of the Lord, da, in the name of Jesus, da, da, da. Yeah, we come out today. Wicked powers using demonic materials, using demonic forces, using evil reports to trouble our souls, to trouble our lives. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the in Jesus' name. We are praising every evil report that has been generated to trouble our souls. Oh God Almighty, reverse them now. Reverse every evil report that has been generated to trouble our lives, to frustrate us. Let those reports be reversed, be reversed, be reversed, be reversed, be reversed, be reversed. Be reversed. Evil reports 
generated to trouble our lives, to trouble our souls, to trouble our families. In the name of Jesus, be reversed, be reversed, be reversed, be reversed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, oh God, arise. Give me victory over every troubles in my father's house. Give me victory over troubles in my mother's house. Give me victory over troubles in my life. Give me victory over troubles in our place of work. Give us victory over troubles in our foundation. Oh God Almighty, we pray thee, give us victory, give us victory, give us victory over every troubles and battles of life. Give us victory, Lord. Give our children victory. Give our husbands, give our wives, give this church victory over every troubles and battles of life. Oh Lord, give us victory. By the power in the name of Jesus, we receive victory over every battles and troubles of life. We receive victory. We receive victory in Jesus' name. We are praying. The Bible says, I will make a way for you where there seems to be no way. The God will go before. The God Almighty said he will go before us and make the crooked places straight. He will break in pieces the gate of brass and cut in a stone that the pass of fire. We are going to pray, say, oh God Almighty, make ways for me where there seems to be no way. Make ways for us, oh Lord. Almighty Father, make ways for us where there seems to be no way. Make ways for our children. Ways of jobs. Ways of career progression. Ways of increase. Ways of settlement ways, oh God, that will lead them to be connected to their divine helpers, to their spouses. Oh Lord, make ways for us. Oh Lord, make ways for us. Make ways for us, oh Lord. Almighty God, make ways for us. Where there seems to be no way. Father, be a way for us. Make a way for us. Be the way for us. Where there seems to be no way. Almighty God, be the way for us. Be the way for us. Make a way for us. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, powers, start getting the works of my hands for destruction. The Lord destroy you. In the name of Jesus, powers targeting the works of my hands, powers targeting my soul, powers targeting my destiny for destruction. The Lord destroy you. The Lord destroy you. The Lord destroy you. any power anywhere. Targeting my soul to destroy it. Targeting the works of my hands. Targeting my job. Targeting my ministry. Any power targeting our souls. Targeting our jobs. Targeting our marriages. Targeting our children. Targeting our ministry for destruction. The Lord destroy you. The Lord destroy you. The Lord destroy you. The Lord destroy you. wicked powers. Targeting our souls for destruction. Wicked powers targeting our lives, targeting our future. May the Lord destroy. May the Lord destroy you. May the Lord destroy you. May the Lord destroy you. In Jesus' name, we are praising God of Elijah. Give me the sword of victory. Give me the sword of fire and victory. In the name of Jesus, God of Elijah, give us the sword of victory and fire. Give us the sword of victory and fire. Give us the sword of victory and fire. Give us the sword of victory and fire in Jesus' name. We are praising. Turn us to fire. Oh Lord, we pray thee. Almighty God, turn us to fire. Turn us to fire. Turn us to fire. Almighty God, we pray thee. Turn us to fire. Turn our children to fire. Turn our marriages to fire. Turn our homes to fire. Turn the careers of our children to fire. Turn their convictions to fire. Oh Lord, turn us to Holy Ghost fire. 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 Possess us now. Holy Ghost fire. Possess our homes. Possess our children. Possess our husbands. Possess our wives. Possess the church. Holy Ghost fire. Possess us now. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. Go before us, O Lord, and destroy every frustrating powers rising up against us. Fire of God, go before us. Destroy every limitations before us. Fire of God, go before us. Destroy the conspirators rising up against us. Fire of God, go before us. Destroy the lying tongues rising up against us. Destroy them. Destroy them. Fire of God, destroy them now. Fire of God, destroy them now. Fire of God, destroy them now. Go before us. Destroy heaviness. Destroy sorrow of the heart. Destroy backwardness. Destroy poverty. Destroy stagnancy, fire of God, Holy Ghost fire, destroy them now, destroy them now, destroy them now, destroy rejection in the lives of our children, fire of God, destroy failure, destroy rejection, destroy mistakes, destroy errors in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, fire of God, destroy them now, fire of God, destroy them. whatever is not of God in our lives, whatever is not of God, rise up against us, Holy Ghost fire, destroy them now, destroy them now, Holy Ghost fire, destroy the cloud of 
of darkness over our lives. Destroy them now. Destroy them now. Destroy them now. Evil hands troubling our lives. Evil tongues rest up against us. Satanic legs walking against us. Holy Ghost fire. Destroy them now. Holy Ghost fire. Destroy them now. Holy Ghost fire. 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 Fire, fire of God. Destroy them now. In Jesus' mighty name, they are destroying enemies of the path of righteousness of God. Oh God, arise. Destroy them now. Destroy them now. Enemies of this church. Oh God, arise. Destroy them now. Destroy them now. Destroy them now. Holy Ghost fire. Destroy them now. Destroy them now. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Oh God, arise. Build your church. Build your church. Almighty God, build your church and do not let the gate of hell to prevail. Gate of hell shall not prevail over this church. Oh Lord, build your church and do not let the gate of hell to prevail over this church. Almighty God, build your church. Almighty God, build your church and do not let the gate of hell to prevail over this church. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Mighty, glorious, wonderful, beautiful, excellent Father, we thank you. We give you glory, honor, and adoration because you are God that answers the prayers. Glory be to your name. Father, as we go into your word, O oh Lord, let your word go ahead of us with power and fire and take control of our lives, take control of our hearts, take control of our families, take control of our homes in the name of Jesus. By the authority and power in your word, O oh Lord, we pull down every stronghold of the devil, we pull down frustrations, we pull down the raging enemies, we pull down the cloud of darkness, we pull down the anxiety of the wicked, we pull down inferiority complex, we pull down self-destructive habits, we pull down every negativities, we pull down every rage of darkness around us in the name of Jesus. We trample upon them, we burn them with chains and fingers, and we cast them to the bottomless brick of fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Blessed Father, in Jesus' most beautiful, wonderful, and excellent name. We have prayed, Amen, Amen, Amen. In Jesus' name, Father, my life I lay at your feet, O God. Forgive me of all my sins, wash me clean, make me whole again, and use me, O Lord, as your vessel, as your holy as a mouthpiece to propagate your gospel and let your gospel go forth with authority, power, and fire and deliver those in captivity. Let your gospel go forth and win souls for the kingdom of God. Let your gospel go forth and be a light to this generation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and welcome you once again to day 16 of our 21 days deliverance program from the activities of our spirit. And day 16, the Lord has given us the grace to to look into another dangerous activity of unclean spirit, which is sexual perversion. Beloved, the evil spirit, this unclean spirit, is responsible for sexual disorder, sexual perversion, like fornication, adultery, and all kinds of sexual immorality. I want you to pray tonight that every sexual perversion in my life, demon of sexual perversion in my life, every loss for uncontrollable sex in my life be destroyed now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed now in Jesus' name. We have prayed. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. The Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. May the Lord God Almighty deliver us from wickedness in high places. Beloved, there are organized wickedness in high places that can make a man, that can make the beauty of a man to become ashes, that can make the soul of a man to be rejected by God, that can make the body of a man to be polluted. I'm praying in the name of Jesus, every rage of the wicked to pollute our bodies, every plus of the wicked to make our temple to become a rejected temple. The Lord destroy the place. The Lord destroyed it in the name of Jesus. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, we read from verse 15 to 20. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 from verse 15 to 20. The Bible says, Know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an allot? God forbid. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an allot is one body? For two said he shall be one flesh, but he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin 
saying that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your, your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. May God Almighty bless the reading of his word. And may he use this word, O Lord, to deliver us from the spirit of fornication and sexual perversion in the name of Jesus. Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of God. Our bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit. And he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. How can one be damaged his own body? How can one be sinned against himself? How can one be destroying his own body? It is as a result of the manipulations of this unclean spirit that will make a man to sin against his own body. The unclean spirit is the power behind sexual perversion. The unclean spirit is the power behind masturbation. Is the power behind fornication. Is the power behind adultery. Is the power behind lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, lust of the mind. The unclean spirit is the power behind all kinds of sexual immoralities, thereby making a man to sin against his own body. Every other sin that a man commits is, is outside of the body, but the sin of fornication and sexual perversion is against his own body. And when the body is being polluted by this unclean spirit, Holy Spirit cannot dwell in that body. For our bodies are the temples of God and the seat of the Holy Spirit which we have received from God. We must, therefore, as a matter of urgency, beloved, stop and cast out this demon, this evil spirit causing sexual perversion, making us to sin against our own bodies, making our bodies, soul, and spirit to become polluted. Unclean spirit will pollute the bodies of man. Unclean spirit will drive away the Holy Spirit. Unclean spirit will make a soul, will make the soul of a man to be rejected. Unclean spirit will pollute the prayer mind of a man. Unclean spirit will make a man's dream life to become distorted. I want you to open your mouth and pray. I people, some will be saying, Oh, may I don't commit, I don't commit adultery, may I don't fornicate. But what about the fornication of the heart? What about the fornication going on deep down the heart of a man? What about the masturbation in your heart? What about the sexual perversion in the heart? Every sin that a man commits is outside the body, but he that committed fornication. So many people have been fornicating in their hearts, not until when you have the physical contact, but every act of nakeding another person in your mind and having sexual intercourse with them in your mind is sin against the body. And when there is sin against the body, that sin of sexual perversion, of fornication, of adultery, of sexual immorality, drives away the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit is no longer dwelling in the body, when the Holy Spirit is no longer dwelling in that temple, then what will be dwelling in the temple is the unclean spirit. Whenever you see someone saying, oh, I can't do without sex, it's an indication that the unclean spirit, the unclean spirit are already in control. If you see someone that is in the act of masturbation, it's an indication that the soul of that man has been overpowered by the Holy Spirit. I want you to pray tonight. Maybe you are here, you are yet to surrender your life to Christ. For as long as a life is without Christ, that life will live in crisis. It is only a life in Christ that is free from crisis of this unclean spirit. It is only the life in Christ that can overcome the demon of sexual perversion. It is only the life in Christ that can pray effective and fervent prayers. It is only the life in Christ that can overcome the raging enemies called 
the unclean spirit. I want you to give your life to Christ. Maybe you have once given your life to Christ and now you are no longer with Christ. Find your way back to Christ so that your life can be made holy again. Say this after me. He said, Lord Jesus, I come before your throne of mercy. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me clean with your blood and make my life whole again. Write my name in the book of life and give me the grace to follow you all the days of my life. Say, Holy Spirit, fill my heart, fill my body, and fill my soul. Jesus Christ, from today, I confess you and I accept you into my life as my Lord and personal Savior. Help me to follow. Help me to obey. And help me to live a holy, a righteous, and a life of faith. In Jesus' name, if you have prayed this prayer, then you and I, we are now qualified as sons and daughters of the Most High God to pray these prayers, to pray the prayers that will set us free from this demon of sexual perversion. Pray like this, say, Oh Lord God, my Father, destroy the spirit of loss, of flesh in my life. Oh Lord God, my Father, Destroy the spirit of lust of flesh in our lives in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord God, our Father, destroy the spirit, destroy the demon of lust of flesh in our lives, destroy the demons of lust of flesh in our lives in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, destroy the demons of lust of flesh in our lives in Jesus' name. We are praising Holy Ghost with your power and fire. God, purify and sanctify our lives. Holy Ghost, with your power and fire, Forge, purify and sanctify our lives. Sanctify us, O Lord. Holy Ghost, with your fire, with your power, Forge, purify and sanctify our lives. Forge, purify and sanctify our lives. Forge, purify and sanctify our lives. In Jesus' name, we are praising. Help us, O Lord, to die to flesh daily. Help us, O Lord, to die to flesh daily. Help us, O Lord, to die to flesh daily. Help us, O Lord, to die to flesh daily. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Beloved, there there are doors by which this demon can enter through a life. Number one is what we watch. To some, they love to watch pornography. They love to watch nakedness of another being. I want you to pray. Every evil doors in my life be pulled down now in the name of Jesus. Evil doors in our lives opening the Opening our lives to unclean spirits, be pulled out now. The money doors open in our lives to allow unclean spirits to come in. Be pulled out now. Evil doors in our lives, ancient evil doors in our father's house, evil doors in our mother's house, evil doors in our mother's house. Through which unclean spirits are entering to our lives. Be pulled down now. 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 now. In Jesus' name, we are praising Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, forge my heart. Holy Ghost fire, forge our heart. Holy Ghost fire, forge our heart. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire, forge our heart. Holy Ghost fire, forge our heart. Holy Ghost fire, forge our heart. In Jesus' name, we are praising. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Separate us, oh God, from allot and prostitutes. Separate us, oh Lord, from allot and prostitutes. In the name of Jesus, oh God Almighty, separate us, oh Lord. Separate our bodies, oh God, from allot and prostitutes. Separate us, oh Lord, from allot and prostitutes. In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to pray for those into prostitution and adultery. Say, anyone born of a woman controlled by the spirit of adultery, fornication, and loss, oh God, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them, deliver them. All those that are under the control of the demons of adultery, of the demons of prostitution, of the demons of adultery, of the demons of fornication, oh God, deliver them, oh God, deliver them, oh God, deliver them, oh God, deliver them. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the authority in the name of Jesus, the Almighty God, arise. 
eyes, deliver her off from the grip of unclean spirit of sexual perversion in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, deliver us, O Lord, from the garment, from the rage, and from the grip of the demons of sexual perversion, lost, fornication, adultery, masturbation, in the name of Jesus, 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 from this day on, the Lord God Almighty will make our lives all again. The Lord will cast out of our lives that demon in the name of Jesus and the Holy Spirit of God, the Spirit of the living God shall take over our lives. Holy Spirit of God, take over our lives. We pray to take over our lives, take over the lives of our children, of our husbands, of our wives, of every soldier tonight. And those that have been listening to this person in the future, Holy Ghost, take over their lives. In Jesus' most blessed and wonderful name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. If the message is a blessing to you, share the goodness. Tell the world that it is only Jesus Christ that can give victory over the demon of sexual perversion. Tell the world that the demon of sexual perversion is responsible for uncontrollable appetite for sex, uncontrollable appetite for fornication, for adultery, for masturbation, for all kinds of sexual immoralities. But thank God for giving us it's only because it's on Jesus Christ that at the mention of that name, every name must bow. Tell the old world that it's only the name of Jesus Christ that can destroy, that can cast out, and that can set free from this demon of sexual perversion. As we share this goodness, may God Almighty bless you, be with you, protect us, and build a hedge of fire around us and around our homes in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We meet every day, 5 p.m. Irish time to that 5 on Facebook and YouTube. Tomorrow's another time. Let's come together to praise God, to worship Him, and to learn at His feet. And as we do so, may God Himself keep blessing us, keep empowering us, and keep lifting us up higher and higher all the days of our lives in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let yes. us share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's share our personalized grace. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Before we shout seven hallelujah, I decree upon your life that in your sleep tonight, the Lord will give us victory. Every rage of the enemies, every enemy that has been buried and planted within and around us, Holy Spirit of God will locate their whereabouts and destroy them in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give us peace. Every areas of our lives where the enemies are prevailing and troubling us. The Lord God Almighty will take over from tonight. The Lord will take care of our battles. The Lord will take over our battles and our enemies shall be destroyed. Enemies in our face of work, we shall see them no more. Enemies in our father's the Bible says, for the Egyptians whom thou say today, you shall see them again no more forevermore. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Egyptians in our foundations, Egyptians in our mother's house, in our father's house, territorial Egyptians, ministerial Egyptians, in the name of our Lord Jesus we shall see them again no more. By the time we wake up tomorrow, all our problems, the Lord will have destroyed them. The Lord will have destroyed them. The Lord will have destroyed them. Troubles of our lives, troubles of our hearts, the Lord will destroy them before tomorrow. In our sleep tonight, the Lord will restore us back. It will restore our dreams. It will restore our lost fortunes. It will restore our blessings. It will restore our joy. It will restore our laughter. It will restore peace back into our lives. It will restore back every good thing that the enemies have stolen from us in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall it be. It is settled. It is done. It is done. All that we ask for in Jesus' name, they are settled and they are done. In Jesus' name, it is done. Seven great, glorious, powerful, and wonderful. Hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you all and keep shining in the Lord. Bye.